Welcome to this video demonstration of AEC's Coolant Exchanger. Today, we'll be showing you how to perform a two-line coolant exchange using both vacuum and pressure. In order to use the coolant exchanger, you'll need a quarter-inch NPTM air plug for your air supply. You must have and maintain a clean air supply to the coolant exchanger. This service is performed with the vehicle off. To start, connect the air hose to the rear of the machine. Remove the top from your new tube and add new coolant into the tube that you're going to use for the service. Attach the rubber cone adapter to the waste hose. Make sure that the valve is on the closed position. If you're using a three tube machine, choose which new tank you plan on using for the service. Turn the new tank to pressure on. Turn the waste tank to vacuum. Turn the top air valve to on. Wait approximately 20 seconds until the gauges are in the green. The vacuum on the waste gauge should read 20 pounds of vacuum, while the pressure on the new gauge should be roughly 10 pounds of pressure. Slowly remove the radiator cap to release pressure before removing. Place the rubber cone adapter into the radiator fill neck and evacuate old coolant from the system by opening the valve. When no more old coolant is being evacuated, turn the valve to closed. This is done to avoid spillage when disconnecting the upper radiator hose. When you're done, replace the radiator cap and use clamps to close off any additional hoses going to the radiator. Loosen the clamp and disconnect the upper radiator hose. Insert the step adapter into the upper radiator hose and then reapply the clamp to make sure the seal is tight. Grab the rubber cone adapter, still connected to the waistline, and place it into the radiator where the upper radiator hose was attached. Open the cone adapter valve. The vacuum will lock the hose into place. Connect the new hose to the step adapter. Observe the coolant exchanger at work, pushing new fluid into the system while simultaneously evacuating old fluid from the system. When the color of the fluid being removed from the system starts looking new, the service is nearing completion. When the exchange is complete, close the valve on the rubber cone adapter. Turn the new tank valve from pressure to off. Remove the new hose from the step adapter and remove the step adapter. Remove the waste hose with the rubber cone adapter from the radiator. Some minor spillage will occur here. Reattach the upper radiator hose to the radiator and fasten the clamp. Disconnect the rubber cone adapter from the waste hose and connect it with the new hose. Disconnect any clamps used during the service. Turn the pressure back on the new tank. Top off the radiator and overflow reservoir using the rubber cone adapter. Replace the radiator and overflow caps. Make sure that all of your hoses are properly fastened. At this point, your service is complete.